video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here. It's inspired by the look that Kendall Jenner wore on the red carpet at the film festival in France. Um, I think her makeup artist did such a good job. She looks so sleek and chic, um, but I thought that the makeup looked like it could be a nice night out kind of makeup look. And I also wanted to do a makeup look that you don't need to use false lashes for because I know you, me included, most times you don't want to wear false lashes. So if you guys like this makeup look, go ahead and keep watching and we'll get started with the tutorial. Alright guys, so let's get started. I'm using tape today because I want to have a very nice line since the eyeshadow does extend pretty far back. So the first thing I'm going to do is get into the Tarte Lip Palette. I really just want to use Wanderer. I just want to use a tan light shade. Um, to use as our transition shade. And what I'm going to do with this is take it in a triangle form, but since I want to almost mimic Kendall's eyes, she has almost like, I want to say like long eyes. Like I don't know how to explain it. What I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to take it out here, but when I get to the crease, I want to get into the crease and I want to give myself, you know, that shape where it's thin here and then just extend. So when I get to the crease, I'm just going to take it into the crease here. But on the outside, I'm just going to take it here, bring it into a V shape, and blend, and then here we're just going to take it into the crease. Just a couple things, I did already go in with primer and I did do my brows already. I tried to mimic Kendall's like brows. So next, um, this honestly looks like the color that they used because it looks like she's doing a brown but it almost looks like it has a red in the brown. So I'm going to take Red Earth from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just going to go a little bit below and continue in the same shape. going to go back and sort of blend out the edges here. So next I want to get back into my Tartlet palette and I'm going to get into the color Multitasker. Um, so it looks like she does have brown in the eyelid itself. And I'm using somewhat like of a fluffy brush to do this just because I don't want it to be too pigmented, I'm not going to lie, because I don't want it to be too dark. And then what I want to do is go back into that red earth color and sort of clean that up a bit. Now what I want to do is take the smallest bit of Glisten from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to put that into the inner corner here. Getting back into the brush that I used with the brown, I'm going to blend those two together. It does look like Kendall has the smallest little wing, so I'm just going to make a wing on the outer corner of my eye. I'm not going to bring it into the inner corner, and I want that to sort of elongate my eye. I'm not even going to do like a wing, I'm just going to make a small little line here. Alright, now we're going to take the tape off and work on the rest of the face. Alright, so now I'm going to go into foundation. So, Kendall is always so glowy, so I need to be glowy. So I'm going to get into this L'Oreal True Match foundation. I've been loving this lately, um, and it's in the shade W6. And I'm actually going to use a brush to apply this today. So I'm going to dot it along first. And just buff this in. Thank you. 
He's getting it in my hair right now. That's cool. All right, so once we have that foundation in, I'm gonna go in and highlight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take medium from the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline and I'm gonna highlight like I usually do. I'm also gonna take the color Neutralizer, which is um, a lot brighter. This is like a highlight shade, so I'm not gonna do too much of this because when I do apply a lot of concealer, my pores just end up coming out saying hello. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put the tiniest amount under the eyes as well. I'm gonna take it up the nose as well, just to get rid of any shadows that I might have there. Gonna take that below the shadows. And then going in with the, the brush that I use for foundation, I'm just gonna make sure everything is blended really well. So I first want to take my banana powder to set the concealer just to give this a little bit more brightening. So I'm going to use the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. I'm going to also take that to the highlighted points. So my forehead, down the nose, and my chin. So I also want to get into my Laura Mercier powder and I kind of want to pack this underneath. Um, I want to take quite a bit. I did use a blush brush for that just because I didn't feel like using my beauty blender today. I wanted to switch things up. It's hard to tell with the pictures what, what's going on with Kendall. So I'm gonna contour a bit. It doesn't look like she went too heavy on the contour um, or it doesn't look like the makeup artist did. So I'm gonna take my, <laughs> my e.l.f. bronzer palette, make a really sharp line and then just go lightly with it. So I'm going to go in with some baking powder and I'm going to clean up underneath the contour and just try to make a really sharp line. <laughs> so I'm just going to let this Santa Claus beard set. <laughs> so while that one sets, I'm going to get rid of the one that I have underneath my eyes. Um, Kendall does have a smoked out lash line, so what I'm going to do is get back into the Tartlet palette and get into Multitasker, which is the darkest brown. So I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take some Multitasker and I'm only going to put this into the outer corner here. Then I'm going to get back into Red Earth and I'm just going to smoke that out. I know this is gonna seem weird, but I put some setting powder right underneath the wing, just cause sometimes when I smoke out the lash line, it sort of gets everywhere. So I'm gonna get into blush. I'm gonna go into Birthday Suit, which is a really like light, pale pink blush. Um, and I love this one because it doesn't show up too much. Like you can have some blush, but you don't have to worry about it being overpowering. I really want to brush off the powder I have underneath, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to tight line with a black eye pencil. Um, it looks like Kendall's like has a little bit all the way into her inner corner to give her like that shape, just like a cat eye shape-ish kind of, so that's what I'm going to do. And when you tight line, you want to focus a lot more darkness in the outer corner so that it pulls this way. All right guys, so I just went in with one coat of mascara. What I like to do when I do my mascara and I'm not wearing false lashes is I actually curl them twice. And then I went in with my Telescopic Carbon Black. I blinked a lot on it here on the ends. And then once I had enough of this, I went in with my Lash Sensational 
um, mascara from Maybelline and this one separates the lashes so that doesn't look too clumpy. Next is highlight. So it honestly looks like Kendall is glowing everywhere. So what I'm going to do is take the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights in pink light and I'm going to take it in all of my highlight spots. So top of the cheekbones, forehead, nose, and chin just to give myself some extra highlight. I want to go back and finish the eye, so when I don't wear false lashes, I don't just do it one time, I do it a couple times. So I'm going to go back in and curl the lashes again. Alright, I think the lashes are good. So I'm going to go in with highlight. I'm going to take, of course, my Becca highlight in opal. So to really make sure that highlight pops, I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime. I'm just going to Spray that, and just as it's about to dry, I'm gonna put that on top, so. And using my pinky, I'm going to take that onto the nose. I'm gonna take some above the cupid's bow, and using my pinky, I guess, I'm just gonna take some onto the chin. So for her lip color, it looks like she just has a nude lip. So I'm going to take this pale pink NYX uh, lip pencil and I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in with this color. What I'm going to try is I'm going to take this um, ColourPop Lippy, Lippy Stick in Birkin. I'm going to take this NYX lingerie um, liquid lipstick in satin ribbon and I'm going to take that on top. We're going to see if this creates like a nude color. I like that color. I like the color it made. Alright guys, so that is the end of this makeup look. I hope you guys liked this Kendall Jenner inspired um, makeup look that she wore in France. I kind of like doing, you know, celebrity inspired looks. I feel like they have amazing makeup artists that are kind of like the behind the scenes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.